Well, you know, staying in the bioengineering realm, but kind of departing from the keep it simple stupid, we're going to move on to Article 3. We're going to be looking at the spinal surgery where a doctor used AR to actually assist them. And this is coming out of ETH Zurich. They have a surgeon division. It's called the Surgeon Enhancing Technologies Project, where they basically come up with technologies that help surgeons. And this is really impressive. So every time anyone says AR, the first thing that really comes to my mind is the Oculus or something like that, like video games that you can put on a goggle and get immersed into this world. But this initiative is basically kind of taking a similar approach where you take on a goggle and have it assist you in something you're doing. And in this case, it's a surgery. So if, if you have a computer close to you, if you can access a browser after you listen to this podcast and leave a five-star review on Apple or Google Podcasts, you should definitely look at this uh, article and watch the whole video. It's about three minutes. It's very impressive. The idea is that they can take a 3D model of the patient's anatomy using the MRI scans that they're already taking as part of their like you know pre-surgery prep or whatever and loading it onto these goggles and there's a heads up display that can assist the surgeon with and in this ex- specific example they had he made an incision um, cut open the patient and he needed to place I think three or four screws and the model was um, the goggles were able to assist him on where to put the screws what type of goggles is he using is it like you mentioned oculus I also think Google Glass was ETH making their own augmented reality glasses or are they using someone else's technology? I misspoke when I said goggles. They're actually technically more like glasses. It is the okay. HoloLens 2 from Microsoft that they're using. Okay. Yeah, it's so it's it's not like blocking you like the surgeon isn't like walking around with a scalpel and not being able to see anything. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Of. <laughs> it's like it's basically like the glasses you're wearing right now just with like a heads up display. That's how you should think okay, about so it. Okay. So it it would project the heads up display onto the normal glasses yep. if it's turned off. The surgeon can still see through them. Yep, exactly. All right. And so, so they cut open the patient, and he drills the holes for the screws. He puts them in, and then he's like, okay, we have screw one, two, and three, and like here. Now we need a piece of metal to like bind them together. And the glasses literally generate like the perfect piece of um, metal rod, and it gives him the direction. He literally uses his fingers to like pick up the model and take it over to a station where he can cut and bend the metal to the shape that... that. So he's, he's looking through these glasses. Yes. At one part, he's seeing the metal that he's bending with his hands, and right above it, or below it, right next to it, he's seeing the optimal shape generated by like generated by the surgeon enhancing tool. Yes, and then he can take it up. He literally takes it up in the video. That's why I think everyone should watch it. He takes it up, and he can compare it to the, to the model, and it shows him, like, oh, like, it's almost perfect here, like, a little bit of an inaccuracy here. It is so cool. And then he's able to just like use that. He finishes up the work and throughout the entire surgery, he's giving a commentary on the, on the process he's going through. And yeah, the surgery was a success. It was the world's first. I believe now that they were able to accomplish this, there's like trials to incorporate more AR into like different surgeries and things like that. But I, I love this so much because it is a perfect example. I think whenever people think about like technology and robotics and surgery, you know, Da Vinci is the go-to. But this is a perfect example of like how human beings can be assisted with technology to do the work they're doing even better and even easier than before. Yeah, I agree. It's We've spoken about this on the podcast a lot, actually, is what's really admirable is where you can combine technologies with what humans do um, to help humans do what they do best. And another point that I'd like to bring up, at least in the case of robotic surgeries, is I imagine the Da Vinci surgery robot cost millions and millions of dollars um a microsoft hololens glasses they don't cost that like nearly as much in comparison and people need surgery everywhere not just in the most affluent areas of the world right um and so i'd be excited to see something like this and also hear about how it improves the success rates of these surgeries i imagine personally i'm not qualified to be a surgeon but if i was I'd feel a lot more comfortable knowing that I have technology showing me to guide where to cut, where to place screws. Um, even if I've done this thousands of times, it, it's almost like, I don't know, sketching on the paper and pencil before you draw on pen. I, I, mean, I have the same thoughts as you. You know, uh, we talked about a while ago how mechanical engineers can be assisted with technology like generative design. I feel like this could be something similar for surgeons. And I would feel more comfortable if I was about to get surgery knowing that A, my surgeon 
is an actual human being who can like you know handle any emergencies if they were to pop up outside of the norms of the surgery and they're being assisted by you know a piece of technology that makes the workflow a little bit easier i agree